Hi, I'm Oliver, and I'm here to walk you through some tips on how to mic a guitar cabinet to get the best output from your recording. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the mics that are ideal for recording guitar amps. The AKG C414 XL2 with sonic character of the famous AKG C12 delivers astounding sound quality for lead vocals in solo instruments. It has nine selectable polar patterns for the perfect setting for every application. It contains three attenuation levels, negative six, negative 12, and negative 18 dB for close-up recording or high output sources up to 158 dB SPL. It has three switchable different bass cut filters to reduce wind noise, stage vibration, or proximity effect. It also has overload warning with audio peak hold LED to detect short audio peaks. Uh, here I have a vintage Silvertone amp and I'm gonna take our trusty 414 XL2 and put it right in front of the speaker. That's about here. Uh, so what I like to do is, first of all, I make sure all the pads and all the filters are flat on the microphone and that my microphone is in cardioid position. And I place the mic a couple inches away from the front of the speaker. Make sure your stand is tight because if it's a loud amp, your microphone will move. And then I like to take out my phone, put the flashlight on and take a look at the speaker. So on this speaker, it's got a pretty small, it looks like an eight or 10 inch speaker. And I like to get the microphone a couple finger fingers away from the speaker, and then right where the dust cap is in the middle, I like to point the microphone at the side of it. So, if I'm looking with my trusty flashlight in there, that's about perfect for me. And then depending on how loud the amp is, I'll engage the pad, and if the amp's too dark where I have it placed, I can uh, use the filter to get rid of some of that low end. If I want the microphone to be brighter or darker, I can go closer to the dust cap or further away. The more you get to the side of the speaker, the darker it is, and the more you get towards the center, the brighter it is. So I'm gonna start there and see how it works. The second thing I like to do, if I have another channel and another microphone, I like to try something else. Uh, since I already have a microphone on the front that I like, I'll maybe take this one and stick it in the exact location, but facing towards the back. Usually the back of a guitar cabinet will pick up more mid-range, low end, and maybe some cool rattle because this is an old guitar amp uh, that might be necessary or might not be necessary. But since I have the channels, let's try it out and see what it sounds like. So again, uh, make sure your mic's flat, Make sure none of the pads are engaged unless you need it and it's a super loud amp. Make sure your mic stand is really sturdy because things will move around. And face it <coughs> towards the other microphone at about the same space, but facing the back of the speaker. Now, since the speaker is moving this way, the microphones will be picking up different sides of the speaker. So you wanna flip the phase on this back speaker 180 degrees, so they're moving together. And let's see what they sound like together. Let's try something a little different with the placement of these mics. So, we were on the edge of the dust cap for this one. Let's move a little bit more towards the side of the speaker to get it a little warmer sounding. Um, and then, let me just take a look with my flashlight, make sure we're in the right space. Yep, that's looking good. And then I'm gonna take the 
back mic and use it as a room mic instead. So let's just pull it in front. And face it, just looking at the whole amp. So we're getting the sound of the room and the sound of the amp. And you can go closer, further back, try different things out. And also remember to check your phase with this because this microphone is receiving this audio at a different time now than this one. So slight adjustments this way or that way will cause huge comb filtering between the two microphones. So you wanna make sure those are aligned in a pretty good space. That looks good to me. Kind of picking up the whole picture of the amp and then we got a close mic. I might just use this one. I might just use that one, but it really depends on the song. Now we're back in the control room. Let's listen to these mic placements. So first off, I'm gonna play first placement we did with one mic in the front at the edge of the desk cap and then one mic in the back and I'll solo between the two so we can listen. Here's what it sounds like together. So super cool. Sounds like a vintage amp with a nice mic in front of it. I'm not doing any EQ. All I've done is a little bit of phase correction, making sure everything's in phase, which it is now. And I'm gonna solo the front mic. So what I hear from that right away is a lot of brightness in that sound. Uh, we're right on the edge of the, the dust cap. It's a smaller speaker, so it's breaking up super nicely. The microphone's kind of picking up a full body picture of what that amp sounds like, but it is really close in front of the mic. So we're not getting as much of the room and playing in front of the amp sounds a little bit different. So looking at the back mic. It sounds completely different, super mid rangey, some more low end, just some body. And it sounds like somebody's covering the speaker because we're facing the back of it. That's gonna add a lot of cool body to the front mic that sounded a little bright. And it's gonna make it sound more like it did in the room. So listening again to the full picture. And muting the back, super bright. And then you get, you get all the body from the back of it. I think it, they're super cool together and you get a full picture of what the guitar amp sounds like. The next little thing that we did, so, we kind of moved the mic because I kind of figured it would be a little bright. I moved the mic a little bit towards the edge of the speaker to pick up some more low end. And then we moved the other mic into the room. So the, that's what these sound like together. So super cool again, sounds like the amp in the room, but a little different. So let's solo the front up. So on this amp, I like the sound a lot better of the microphone a little bit more off the dust cap because it's such a bright amp already. And that's kind of giving me more of a flavor that I like rather than the, the mic setup before seems warm, full bodied. And then let's see what the room sounds like. Cause this will be uh, a little bit more full picture of the amp in the room. Really cool as well. You're getting a lot of brightness cause there was a bright amp in the room through a single coil pickup. Uh, it's kind of adding just to the overall picture of the amp. Let's hear them together again. And then with the room 
muted. The the room just adds a nice air and breath to the amp that makes it sound a little fuller than just having one single mic right in front. So I might I might just use the room mic, I might just use the front mic, depending on what we need in the mix. Now you're ready to mic some guitar amps in your own studio. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Sounds from the Studio from AKG Microphones.